بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم اللہ رب ذبنی علما صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین دس از دی ایگزامپل کوشچن آف پراپر فریکشن آف کیس تھری دس کوشچن از فرام مارچ ٹوینٹی تھری پیپر تھری ٹو کوشچن الیون این امپارٹنٹ ایڈوائز وی شوڈ بی نائس ٹو ایوری ون Before splitting this fraction into partial fraction, we need to observe three things. Number one, type of fraction. Number two, complete factorization of denominator. And number three, types of factors. For type of fraction, we need to check the highest power of variables both in denominator and numerator. So in denominator, the highest power of variable is three. In numerator, the highest power of variable is 2. Since the highest power of variable in denominator is greater than the highest power of variable in numerator, therefore this fraction is proper. For proper fractions, the highest power of variable in denominator must be greater than the highest power of variable in numerator. Now we need to observe denominator. Both factors are in their simplified form. So denominator is fine. We don't need to factorize the denominator. Now types of factors. We have linear and quadratic factors. Let's split this fraction. So 5x square plus x plus 11 divided by 1 plus x and 4 plus x square. You can change the positions of these factors if you want. This will make the calculation simple in fact. Now, since we have two factors, so we have to make two fractions. One for linear factor and one for quadratic factor. So 1 plus x and 4 plus x square since both fact i mean this factor is linear so we need to write constant here this factor is quadratic so we need to write a linear factor here now we need a values of x for substitution so from this factor we are getting x minus 1 See quadratic factor, this factor cannot be factorized. So we cannot get any value of x from this factor. So we have to suppose x0. And we need one extra value of x for the last constant. So we can suppose any value of x except these two. So we can suppose one. Always suppose that value which will make calculation simple. Now eliminate all these fractions. For that you need to multiply all these fractions with this denominator, this one. I have already explained this concept in my first lecture of proper fractions, case one. So watch that lecture to understand this concept well. I'm not showing multiplication here in order to save time. Watch lecture number uh, five of partial fractions. So this is a way to get this step from this step. Now substitute this value at first. this at second and this at third see we got this value directly from this factor so always substitute the value of x at first which you get directly from factor we suppose these two values for quadratic factor we always suppose x0 so substitute this value at second and this value at third or at the end Now let x be minus 
so we have 5 minus 1 plus 11 and 5 times a this will become 0 because when we will substitute minus 1 here this will become 0 so we have I guess uh, uh, 15 on left side and 5a on right side therefore a is 3 now substitute x0 so we have 5 I'm so sorry we have 11 on left side because this and this will become 0 and 3 times 4 0 plus c and 1 so minus 1 c so this is the value of c now let's substitute x1 so let me copy this equation so that you would understand this substitution well let x be 1 so we have 5 plus 1 plus 11 a was 3 I guess yes and bracket in bracket we have 5 this is b c is minus 1 and this is 2 so on left side we have 17 then minus 15 and 2 times b minus 1 so we have 1 is equal to b minus 1 so b is 2 now substitute all these values into this equation So A is 3, B is 2 and C is minus 1. This is the required partial fraction of this fraction. Hope this lecture will help you to understand uh, the concepts of proper fraction case three well. Uh, you should watch all my lectures of this series to understand partial fractions and proper fractions well. Uh, I will discuss improper fractions and uh, its cases in my next lectures, inshallah. Good luck and Allah Hafiz.